Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if an app default was reset, notification error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So if it says an app caused a problem with the default app setting for some sort of file type, so it was reset. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in apps. This match should go back with apps and features, or one of the matches under settings should say apps and features. So go ahead and select that. And search this list. You want to type out whatever app you're having the problem with that says that it's been reset to default or whatever. So let's just type in Groove Music, for example. So let's just select that and then select Advanced Options. You want to scroll down and underneath reset, if this app isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Before you do, try resetting from within the app's own settings page instead of here. That way you won't lose all your app data. So again, this is going to vary on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm not going to go too far down any one rabbit hole because you're going to have some programs that are going to have those options and some that won't. So I don't really want to make this tutorial too specific as well as too confusing at the same time. So just generally speaking, we're just going to reset it from here. However, if you do have an option to actually reset it within their own setting page, go ahead and consider that. However, not all apps actually have that option. So I just want to put that out there so keep that in mind but we're going to go ahead and select reset so I have to reset once again again permanently delete those information from the application for most programs it really shouldn't matter if you're deleting the information from it it's not actually storing anything however I could see something like a music application or photos you want to make sure you just have it backed up on some folder on your computer really I mean that's really all it is to be completely honest with you, at least from my experience and my opinion of it. So once that's done, just close it here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should have been about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.